Hey everyone, so this is going to be a battery life test of the Xperia C5 Ultra. So you see here on the left that it is E3 Plus, and then the C5 Ultra in the middle, and then the Z3 Compact on the right side. So I'm going to do a few battery life tests here, and then I'm going to just talk about how the battery has been over the last two weeks when I've been using the phone. Uh, so just for comparison, you see I have this on airplane mode. 100% battery currently. And there's no other apps open for these. Alright, so I'm going to run San Andreas for about an hour and then I'm going to check back and see what the battery life is for these three phones. And the brightness level is also very similar across all three. Hey everyone, so it's been about an hour, a little over, uh, and I'm going to check on the battery life of these three phones. Alright, so 77 for the Z3 Plus. 80 for the C5 Ultra and 79 for the Z3 Compact. Alright, so pretty interesting there. It's actually a little bit better than the other two um, despite having a bigger screen. So I'm going to do a couple more battery tests on this. Uh, the first is I'm just going to let these phones sit overnight and just see what the battery life is in the morning when I wake up. Alright guys, so I gave it 11 hours. Uh, again, it was 77, 80, and 79, so let's check in and see what these are at. Seventy-six, so only down one percent for the Z3 Plus. Seventy-seven, so down three percent for the C5 Ultra. And 79, so virtually unchanged for the uh, Z3 Compact. So the uh, C5 Ultra performed the worst in standby mode. and But of course, it's only a few percent. Uh, so the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to just do screen on time. And I'm going to do that for 30 minutes. Okay, so I got it set to sweep after 30 minutes of inactivity. Um, and to me, it looks like even though... These all appear to be at a similar brightness level. I think by default the C5 Ultra is just brighter. So I'm going to set these down. I'm going to do it like about that and see what type of difference that makes. Actually, I'll just turn it all the way down. Alright guys, so again, I'm going to check in in 30 minutes here. Alright everyone, so it's been 30 minutes, and I'm going to put the brightness now up all the way. Alright, so we're going to let this run for another 30 minutes at maximum brightness, and just check in on the battery. 72% for the Z3 Plus. 75 for the uh, C5 Ultra and 79 for the uh, Z3 Compact. Alright guys, so it's been almost 30 minutes here. Uh, one note that I wanted to make, for some reason my Z3 Plus, uh, it's showing that mobile data is on, but it really isn't. Let's see if I click on this. Okay. So I try to press the button and turn it off, it doesn't do anything. But um, it's not on, and you can tell because airplane mode's on, so that's not a factor. It's just a glitch that uh, it's showing that mobile data is highlighted. All right, so it's been 30 minutes now. Uh, so it's 66% for the Z3 Plus, 
70% for the C5 Ultra and 76% for the Z3 Compact. And so that's about two hours on screen, uh, one hour of GTA San Andreas playing, and the phone's in general been on for 13 hours. Um, I don't want to turn on Wi-Fi. I know I could do better tests that way, but the thing is these all have like different apps downloaded, so it might be an update installed on one phone that uh, takes up a lot of the battery, so I wanted to just do it, uh, give them a level playing field, but this is the first time that I've done a test like this, so um, if there's a better way that you guys can think of for next time, please let me know in the comments. So there you have it guys, uh, I've been very impressed with the battery life of the C5 Ultra, and I think that this test just reinforces that. Uh, you're definitely going to get at least a day out of it, maybe two if you don't use it too heavily, um, but yeah, it, it's great battery life. And again, if you guys have any suggestions for battery life tests in the future, please let me know in the comments.